It's pizza time with Santa Barbara Baker. I'm showing you how I make my sauce. It really doesn't get any more simple as far as pizza sauce go. Like everything in my pizza life, I always want to use the best ingredients whenever I can. Tomatoes are no exception. My favorite are these, the Bianco Di Napoli's. But you can use whatever you can get your hands on that you really like. I like this product a lot. I live here in California. These are grown not far from here. All stuff I'm really into and it tastes really great. I'm using the whole peeled tomatoes here. It's just tomatoes treated very simply along with, you know, there's like usually like one sprig of basil in there, but I'm not worrying about that too much. And how do I go about this? What else do I need? Not much here. I like to go just straight into a deli container. That's what you always see me pulling out of when I'm making the pizzas and I just dump straight in here. Depending on the tomatoes you're using, you might want to drain them. The Biancos are so good that I just like to put the whole thing in there. You can use all of it. So you, maybe you're paying a little bit more when you're venturing into those a little bit higher quality tomatoes, but oftentimes you can use the whole thing. So you're stoked on that. So at the end of the day, you know, you, you maybe you end up with the same amount and you're supporting good farmers, all that great stuff. What else do I do to this? Just a little bit of salt. I mean, when I'm doing this most days, I just go in with a generous pinch. I weighed it out today for you guys. It's two grams here. I'm going straight in. Now, I mean, I'm gonna whirl it up with this immersion blender, but you don't even need that. You can just go the super OG rustic vibe. Just go straight in there with your hands, crush it. I mean, that's like the really legit. I actually, I like using, giving it a little whirl up, get that salt distributed. Also, it gives it a little bit better consistency. I mean, I'm not tripping on it too hard. You're making one pizza at home or something. I wouldn't worry about it too much, but if you're making a lot of pizzas, you wanna be able to get that sauce on quick. So. When it's one that the, the consistency is a little bit more uniform, you can just crank them out. And also too, I mean, like you're making like, you got like a little more OG margarita vibes. You want some chunks of tomato in there. Just hit it maybe a little more light or going for that hand crush. Making a New York style, you want it smooth, whirl it up. That's what we're gonna do. I like going in the goober one when you're a total noob with one of these things is just going and starting this before you get in there. Tomato sauce over the whole kitchen. Just kind of, you can smash the tomatoes as it goes in. Start it whirling up. I'm gonna get this all blended up. I'm gonna go for, you know, about a medium consistency here. So little chunks still left going up and down, working that salt through it. I'm gonna get this all whirled up and then it's the moment of zen. It's gonna be pizza time. Love you guys. Check out the recipe on SantaBarbaraBaker.com. That's where you can find all my pizza recipes. I'm Santa Barbara Baker on Instagram. Follow me there. I'm baking up always the fire most. Hope you guys are too. Keep dreaming pizza, loving pizza, living pizza. One love.